So what if I told you your health is at risk from burning candles? And what if I told you the air in your home is equivalent to breathing in pollution from outside, and that's also from burning candles? Yes, this is true, but not all candles are the same though. But what sets a luxury candle apart from the rest? What makes them so expensive? What's the difference between spending $100 on one candle where you can get five for $20 on sale? You're gonna wanna pay attention to what I'm about to tell you because there is a downside to buying cheap candles and your health is at risk because of it. I'm gonna break down the different waxes and their benefits, the different wicks, and what you should be looking for the next time you think about buying candles. And lastly, I'm gonna give you some luxury brands that are just better in every way. And when I say luxury, it doesn't necessarily mean expensive. Brands that are better in quality qualifies as luxury in my eyes. Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to my channel, Detail Dream, and let's talk candles. But first, if you're not subscribed, do me and this channel a huge favor and smash that subscribe button below. And if you woke up today and you're doing well, let me know by smashing that like button below as well. Now back to the video. There are so many options when it comes to candles. You have different colors, scents and sizes, and of course prices. There are plenty of candles that we buy because they're cheap or they're on sale. But with most things, there is a downfall with buying things cheap. And in this case, the downfall is your health. The wax is the main part of the candle, would you agree? Yes, that's a definite yes. Yeah, definite. It gives those certain characteristics of a certain brand. But here's a caveat that you may not know. There are certain waxes that could release harmful toxins inside your home equivalent to the pollution that you get from outside. Let's start with the wax that you should be avoiding at all costs, paraffin wax. Oftentimes, the candles that you find in department stores are made using paraffin wax, one of the more modern methods for making candle wax, which is made with a byproduct from the petroleum industry, also known as, wait for it, gasoline. Yes, those brightly colored rainbow candles that you see in the stores are more than likely made using paraffin wax. And if you ever wonder why you sometimes get headaches or the feeling of nausea when you light candles, then more than likely that is paraffin wax releasing the harmful toxins inside your home. Evidence of paraffin will be a dark soot ring around the rim of the candle glass. You can also inspect the wax before buying it. If you touch it and it feels oily and it leaves a thin film residue on your fingertips, then more than likely that's paraffin wax. Paraffin holds on to fragrance better and gives it that very strong scent, which is why most brands gravitate towards using it. So the next time you look to buy candles, just do your research and make sure that you know what type of wax that they're using. I'm not naming any names, but just look up your favorite candle brand to see what they're putting inside of their candles. There are also brands that claim to use high quality paraffin, which is supposed to be more safe, but doesn't that mean that you're still burning some type of chemical? You will even find high quality paraffin in some luxury brands as well. You will even find on some labels that there is the use of artificial fragrances which is made with chemicals, and when you burn it, you are then releasing those chemicals into your space. You can still buy your bright pink bubblegum scented candle, but please burn at your own risk. I wish there was someone that walked around with me and smacked things out of my hand that I didn't need or that was detrimental to my health. Explaining that took longer than I thought. Now that you know what wax to avoid, let's discuss what you should be looking for in candles. Unlike paraffin wax, soy wax candles does not emit harmful toxins or chemicals into the air. Created just in 1996, soy is just a natural oil extracted from soybeans. It not only burns cleaner, but it lasts up to 50% longer than paraffin wax candles, and that's because it doesn't require as much heat to burn. The downfall with soy is that many companies just slap a label on their products as soy-based, which is just a blend of soy and paraffin because it's cheaper to make. So basically, if a candle contains 51% soy, then it can be labeled as soy wax blend. And that's how some companies are getting away with a soy label. So you just want to do your research on what wax these brands are using. So if it doesn't say 100% soy, I will not buy it. The best way to tell is just to simply touch the wax. Like I said earlier, if it leaves an oily film on your fingers, then more than likely it contains some paraffin. Now, for the best type of candle wax to top them all, in my opinion, beeswax the oldest known form of wax used. It dates back thousands of years to when the Egyptians would dip papyrus leaves in beeswax before burning. It's a natural substance that burns the best and the cleanest while having the same benefits as soy wax. 
It's considered the most healthiest wax as it purifies the air and is sootless and smokeless. You will mainly see beeswax used in higher end brands and more than likely will be on the more expensive side. But with that higher price, you truly get the best benefits. Not only with the best quality, but it's just best for your overall health. Some other natural waxes that you will come across and you really should consider are coconut wax, palm wax, and vegetable wax. It's not uncommon to see these natural waxes mixed with either soy or beeswax, which are just added benefits. The only wax that you should avoid altogether is paraffin or soy and paraffin blend. Something I forgot to mention that you should also look out for are candles with a metal core inside the wick, which contains lead. Most candles today are lead free, but you will still find some metal core wicks in some tea light candles. So make sure you're buying a candle that has a 100% cotton wick. A wooden wick is equally as good. And here are a few recommendations for candles that uses natural oils and waxes. They are PF Candle Co, Fornicetti, Sia Trudon, Jill Malone, and the Labo. So the next time you're in a store and you see that bright blue colored candle that smells like blueberry pie, please think twice before buying it. You just never know what you're bringing into your home. Make sure you do a quick Google search on what's in your favorite candle. It may surprise you. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I will catch you guys in the next one. And as always, be your best self.